Hey guys, in this video I want to show you guys how to customize your Galaxy S3 or any Android phone with Apex Launcher. I just purchased the full version, the pro version, that's why I'm making this video. This app is usually for free, you can use it if you have Ice Cream Sandwich or Up and it's very very awesome. What I like about it is that it, it still keeps the look of Ice Cream Sandwich but it gives you a lot more functions, a lot more features, a lot more tweaks. It lets you tweak Ice Cream Sandwich a little bit more to your liking, which is awesome. And that's the reason a lot of people like it as well. So here, this is the Samsung Galaxy S3. And this is TouchWiz right here. And like you can see that the app launcher is right there. The apps look like that, 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 that. When you open the drawer, I like, I like that it looks transparent when you in the drawer. While you're in the drawer, it looks transparent. I really like that from the TouchWiz Ice Cream Sandwich. Once you install the, the Apex Launcher app or the Pro version, doesn't matter. Once you hit the home button, it's going to give you a, a, an option to which launcher to choose. This time, I want to choose Apex Launcher. I already use Apex Launcher, so it already keeps, it remembers uh, my previous settings before I switch back. So like you can see, I got my beautiful widgets, I got my apps organized the way I want. I got this page for folders, which is very neat. I like to organize my apps and folders. But the new thing about the Pro version is the notification number. Uh, and on every app, the phone, the email, and the messaging app, you can um, have a notification number over them like right there you can see that I have two text uh, I have two emails I haven't read and the same thing goes with um, the messaging app let me show you guys how the messaging app really ch changes let's go here and let's go ahead I want to send myself a text message so right now I'm sending myself a text message <laughs> using my tablet I'm using Google Voice on my tablet, that way I can send myself a message. There it goes. So like you can see, I got a message right there. Boom, boom. So that's very cool. And that's a very nice feature too of, of the Apex Launcher Pro. And same thing goes with um, phone calls. If you miss a phone call, it's going to show you the numbers of missed phone calls, which is awesome too as well. Another cool feature is that you can actually customize the look of your icons. Like right now, these icons, they look ugly in my, in my opinion. So let's say I want to change the icon of the camera and make it look a little bit more like uh, the custom sandwich one, the default custom sandwich. Uh, let's say you click on it You click on it and you hold it once you click on it and you hold it you have this option Click edit here you click the icon here. You're gonna have a couple options use default icon select pictures select cropping picture or select select um, Pack icon pack. I'm um, here. I'm gonna choose ice cream sandwich You could go to the app store and download as much Icon packs as you want right now. I got two icon packs ice cream sandwich and metro station which are, which both are very good If I go to ice cream sandwich um, Which one was I would change it the camera? Okay, the camera right here. It is. There's the icon of the camera Let's go ahead and choose that Now when you click ok now the camera has changed that's very very nice and same thing goes if you want to change it to another camera to use another pack let's go to metro station let's look for a camera here this one has a bunch of icons look at that and it looks very very nice okay it has like three camera apps icons let's choose that let's choose that you can even choose the color and there it is now my icon for my camera looks like that <laughs> very cool but let's go ahead back let's go ahead back and choose iTunes Scandridge let's choose that one and that one that's it same thing goes with the messaging app I don't like the way the messaging app looks it looks ugly let's go with that click on that 
click on that click on that on that and let's choose this one boom nice <laughs> and here too this I actually like the way it looks the touch whiz but if you don't like the way that one looks you can also change it and here it is and la. so there it is now your icons look just like more ice cream sandwich like default so that's a very cool feature uh, another cool feature is um, the way the uh, the draw like you saw before the draw was transparent right now by default when you go to apex it's dark and I actually like to transparent so let's say I want to go to settings apex settings you'd have to go to apex settings go to draw here draw background transparency go here and make it as much as transparent as you want you go 50 percent let's go 47 percent 48 percent does it really matter and let's go here and now you can see your now you can see your background which is very nice you could make it completely transparent if you want another cool feature of the pro version is the gestures um, here in gestures you can assign um, you can assign your gestures to, to when you swipe up with one finger, swipe down with one finger, or swipe two fingers down or two fingers up. When you choose, um, like for example, I actually chose, let's go to settings, let's go to Apex settings, uh, let's go to behavior right here, and here you got uh, what you wanted to do when you pinch, what you wanted to do when you swipe up, I got show app draw. I, um, here and swipe down I got launch app uh, like a launch app and you could choose any app that you want so I chose to do I chose to do the ES file explorer because I really like it and I access it a lot um, touch up now with pro version you got two finger swipe so two finger swipe I actually to touch up I did this, uh, the S voice I put S voice I selected S voice and to touch down, uh, to touch down, I selected a shortcut. You can actually choose a shortcut and to dial. Once you choose shortcut, you could direct dial somebody, which is very good, or you could direct message somebody. I chose to direct met dial Fred Wilson Gate. That, that phone is not working. So now let's go back. Now, if I choose down. It will automatically start calling that number so here I got by default I got selected um, my wife's phone number so I just click down and automatically starts calling that's a very cool feature you guys can call this number is not working so that's a very cool feature there so let me cancel that um, you can also like I said if I go up it launches Siri hi Siri <laughs> so let me get out of here if I launch one one finger, I will launch the draw. If I go down, I will launch the my files, which is good. And like I said, you could you could assign every swipe whatever app you want. Whatever you want it to do, it will do with the swipe. Another cool feature that I really like is customizing the look of the folders. Uh, with customizing the look of the folders, let's go to the double tap when you double tap you you, uh, you activate this menu here you go to the epic settings um, here you can control folders in the folders you could control the way um, it looks right now I got it as a circle you could put it as a square iOS looking and you could put iOS looking boom 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 if I go now now it looks iOS like that's very cool if you like that or I could go ahead and let's go back to settings let's go back to folder uh, let's go here let's go here and change it to stack let's go here and change it to square and that's it and there it is a square with stacks in it but my favorite option my favorite option, the way for the folders to look, is uh, the grid. 
I like the grid and I like the circle. So let's go back. And now I got the grid, four apps, and a circle. It looks like their four apps are popping out. That's what I like. Uh, another thing that I really like about the the pro version is the animations like right now you can see the way this is animated so let's go ahead and change show you guys a couple home screen animations you go to home screen you double tap go to home screen here you go to transition right now I have none so by default is doing none if you choose tablet this is a very cool if you choose tablet it'll look like the tablets like the way the um, honey honeycomb look on the tablets like you can see every time you swipe there's like a blue line around around the the, the stacks which is very nice <laughs> you can make it look like accordion look at that you can make it rotate You can make it cross. This is cross. Very nice. You cube out. Looks like a cube. That's very cool. You go scale. It looks pretty cool too. Doesn't look bad. Let me leave it like that. So let's go ahead also in draw, you can also control the way the draw swipes to as well. But it doesn't really add new ones. So let me show you guys here. When you go to draw, you go to draw animation. Oh, this is when you open the draw. I got a flip, a fly in, a fly out. You go ahead and scale in. Let's choose that. Now when you open the draw, it scales in. That looks nice, look at that. Boop. I'll fade in. Like that. That looks pretty cool too. It just fades in and fades out. Very nice. Uh, that's a cool feature too as well. Another cool feature is that you can actually hide the notification or you can hide the dock, which is very nice too. Some people just don't like the, the all this. And if you got this, if you're using this, you might not want to see these notifications in the top. So if you want to do that, here you can go ahead to uh, Apex. Go to, let's say I want to hide the notification. Uh, hide notification. When I choose high notification, and let's say I want to hide the dock as well at the same time, let's go to dock and hide dock. When I choose that, those two, now look at that. Now that looks pretty nice. I don't know, but that looks pretty nice. You have no notification, you have no dock. Here, you, right here, you can go ahead and change the apps to your liking. You could put the, the, the phone here, you could put the the most used apps, the essential apps like the text messaging and the phone here, and you can have a, a better look at the background. That's very nice. And it looks pretty clean. It looks very, very clean. And and, and still you can still activate. <laughs> you can still activate. Another thing is that if you Okay, wait, let me go back. Another thing is that okay, you can't access anything. But let's say you change the draws, like right now I can't access my draw, but let's say I want to access my draw with a gesture, there it is. So now I got access to my draw with gestures. That's it. So there's no excuse for that. You could do the same thing with down, let's say you want to see all your notifications, you would have to actually assign the, the gesture down to notification and you would be able to see the notification just like that so there would be no problem whatsoever 
so it is possible to just live with that and it looks very nice especially if you want to show off your your home screen and everything and it looks very very clean that looks very nice too just want to keep you guys in mind that if you are not rooted let's say you are not rooted uh, and you try to put a a a a widget on the home screen is going to give you this magic let me see let's choose this small one if you try to put a widget here it's going to tell you that it can't due to limitations to android framework but if you have super user root access you will be able to do it by going to the settings if you go here to settings and to activate that you have to go here to advance and here enable root helper you click on that and now now you will be able to put a widget on the home screen and that's it that's what would you have to do if you're using ice cream sandwich I heard that this um, you can actually add widgets to the home screen if you're using jelly bean it will, you won't ask you for that but due to ice cream sandwich it would actually have to be rooted to put the widgets from the draw like here to the home screen let's go ahead and eliminate this another cool feature here is that when you got when you got um, apex launcher you get this menu every time you long press a a widget or an icon from here you can go ahead and resize it or you could go okay let me stop that or you could go ahead and remove it from there that's very cool instead of dragging to an install so um, guys this is all I'm gonna record right now for the apex launcher let me know if you guys got any questions about the launcher just let me know and I'll try to answer them as they come